private was. <clears throat> Can everybody hear me? Yes. I know I was having a hard time hearing Mary. Can you all hear me? Yes. Good. Okay. Thank you, Mary, for, for that introduction. We've always been very close, Mary and I, because we both worked at the hospital, Ketchikan General Hospital. In fact, I worked for the nuns for 23 years. And I think Mary was always there, too. In fact, next month, I'm, rent, I'm uh, going down to spend a few days with the, with the nuns at the convent. Some of them are, ha are having their 50th Jubilee, which means they've been in the order for 50 years. But I'm really honored to be able to speak about Nas Town because my mother always called him my father because that was my grandfather, Sam Davis's name. And so she felt really close to Willard and really spent a lot of time inviting them to her home. <coughs> Having, you know, doing these dinners is really something that our people never quit doing. They, they made us quit doing the potlatches, but instead of potlatches, they start having memori memorials which had to do with, with gravestones. So it took the place of the totem poles because they weren't allowing us to make totem poles. It was against the law to have potlatches. So instead of doing potlatches, they start calling it dinners. So they would have, uh, they, they continued to do some of the ceremonies. They would, for instance, when they had the year party like we're having now, when the gravestone was brought down to the gravesite, then the opposite clan washed the gravestone. And then the opposite clan gave the dinner. So then they had to be paid. They also helped when, in the old days, when somebody died, the opposite clan took care of the individual that died. And I guess, I, did I mention that, that, that Nas Tau is a chief's name. My grandfather was, Sam Davis was the chief. And so he would have had a totem pole raising at this event if it had happened before they outlawed potlatches. But Haidas are really innovative. They decided, well, we can't have potlatches, but we could have gravestones put, up, put down at the grave sites. And so that's how this started so that people would continue their traditions, but just turn it around a little bit. So I think it's really, it was really exciting to, for Willard to want to have this, so people could see how the Haidas um, did their one-year party. To him, it was really exciting to see it in the village, because my brother, because um, he saw how hard it was on people to have a dinner, they used to give a big dinner uh, after the burial. And he said to his wife, Primrose, we're gonna start a new, a new trend. He said, we're going to, instead of, when I die, instead of having a big dinner, which is really hard on the family to, to have a big dinner on just after the burial. He said, just have a tea. And so now in the village, when someone dies, instead of the family having to put on a big dinner, they now have a tea. And then a year later, then they have the big dinner. So this is Willard's big dinner, and this is how the Haidas do it. And they'll be giving gifts out because that's, um, they give gifts for people to witness that we have, we have honored the person who died. So this is just a very small part of the uh, ceremony that goes on in our village. And they also have dancing and singing. And usually what they do too is, in, in uh, our village, when the person dies, one of the relatives makes a mask 
of the person that died. And then everybody has a chance to say goodbye to that person. Their mask comes in and they dance around the room. And then after the ceremony, then the family burns the mask. Not everybody's there, just the immediate family. So there's a lot of um, ceremony that goes along with this one year Haida dinner. And it's really um, exciting that they have started doing that again. It's sometimes really hard though, so I'm kind of glad we didn't, we st already said goodbye to Willard. This is just a happy party. We're just rejoicing that he's not in pain anymore and that we have all have really good memories of him. I remember him in my classrooms when he did basketry. He just enjoyed it so much. He was smiling all the time. He was weaving. He, he wove baskets and, and had so much fun. I, I'll never forget his walking into the classroom with this big smile. And I, he took classes with uh, Diane Willard too. And I understand that he enjoyed those classes as much as he enjoyed the ones that I taught. Thank you very much. Dolores. Thank you, Dolores. One of the fun things we did to do was a placemat.